Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're doing well wherever you may find yourselves. Today's review is the reissued White Snake, the purple album, the special gold edition. As you can see at the bottom, it's been revisited, remixed, and remastered. So occasionally you can have your cake and eat it too because it's been both remastered and remixed. Now let's talk about what revisited means. And there's a few things that that is implying. And the first is, which is really cool, is that the track listing of this 2023 remix is different from the original mix. And I'm loving the new track listing. I think it's far superior to the original. And of course, there's something to be said about the synergy of the track listing, right? And because that can set up the whole tone or overall feel of an album, right? And it works so much better here. So again, the overall feel of the album is improved because you have a greater synergy because of the way the track listing is now arranged. Now, it's called the gold, the special gold edition, because if you purchase this on vinyl, the vinyl itself is the color of gold. And in, in small part because the liner notes, the background is purple, but the lettering is yellow. Now, back to revisited it's revisited in addition because of the different track listing but also the obvious is because it's been remastered and um, remixed as i said but in addition you have a second disc and you have a third disc that is a blu-ray so that's part of that revisited stuff and there's a there's a lot of real cool goodies here so let me talk about now the track listing of the disc one again 2023 remix Starts off with Burn, then you get Lay Down, Stay Down, Love Child, Holy Man, The Gypsy, Lady Double Dealer, Might Just Take Your Life, Mistreated, Stormbringer, Track 10 is Sail Away, and this is called the Interpolating Elegy for John mix, of course, a tribute to the late great John Lord. Then Track 11, You Keep On Moving, featuring the Hook City Strings, Track 12, Lady Luck, Track 13, Coming Home, Track 14, You Fool No One, and in parentheses it says the interpoloting Itchy Fingers mix, and this track is dedicated to the loving memory of Jeff Beck, in loving memory of Jeff Beck, and then finally track 15 to conclude disc one is Soldier of Fortune. Now let me talk about what I find to be my favorite standout tracks of this album. Actually, before that, let me talk about one thing else, and that is you get six songs from the album Burn, you get reworked, of course, you get five songs from Stormbringer, reworked, of course, and four songs from Come Taste the Band. Now, here are the standout tracks for me, personally. Um, Love Child, Holy Man, it's a really great treat, The Gypsy, Might Just Take Your Life, Sail Away, You Keep On Moving, Coming Home, and Soldier and Fortune. Now... Here's what I would have liked, because these three songs are absent, just like they were absent on the original mix. Um, I would have loved, excuse me, David Coverdale and Whitesnake had done versions of Deep Purple's Hold On. That's from the Stormbringer album. Love Don't Mean a Thing, also from the um, Stormbringer album. And in parentheses, the, song, the whole song is called... Uh, <coughs> No, that's the whole song. Sorry. The next one, also from Stormbringer, see a pattern here, is You Can't Do It Right in parentheses, with the one that you love. I love all those three songs. Um, St Stormbringer is one of my favorite Deep Purple albums of all time, um, even though panned by critics, right? And even to some degree, Richie Blackmore himself as an afterthought. But man, I would have loved to hear those. Um, anyway, so let me talk about the overall sound of this album. Um, some people have described it as bombastic. Um, others have described it as possessing some pageantry, and I get all that. Those are appropriate words to describe um, the album, but the al the, the word of choice that I would use is, is that this album possesses a sort of, not a sort of a definite the, sorry, a definite theatricality to it. Again, theatricality, and I'll talk about what I mean by that in a minute. Um, but overall, this album is a love child, pun intended, of White Snake '87 meets the soulfulness of the album Stormbringer, and that's because of the background female vocalist you, you have that permeates most, if not all, of the album. So that's part and parcel as to why you have this theatricality vibe to it. There are other reasons why, of course. And having said that, I do slightly have a love-hate relationship with the female background vocalist because at times I think it's too much. 
Um, I think it's a bit intrusive. I like it when it's present, but I think there are too many songs with that going on. Um, I get what they're trying to do, and it works for the most part, but I wish that, that some of that would be, um, there, that they would back off from some of that a little bit. Again, it's, I think it's a little bit intru- intrusive. Um, now, there are two songs that are interesting. One is Burn, and the other one I forget, but for whatever reason, these two songs do not sound like the David Coverdale I know and love, and yet the and so when I listen to them, it's like I'm thinking, is that David Coverdale singing at all, or is it someone else? Um, now the rest of the 13 tracks, you can tell it's David, but for some reason, there are two tracks, one of them being "Burn Again." Um, it doesn't sound like David Coverdale himself, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, however, having said that. While at first, and I knew this from the original mix, um, I knew that going in. I mean, after I heard it, the original mix, I heard it. I remember feeling the same way, I mean. and But here, um, and maybe it's because I've heard it before, but I, I find it fresh. So it's it's really not that, it's, not, it's really not a bad thing, in other words. Um, it's odd, but it, it gives a freshness to those two songs. Um, now, let me talk about disc two. It starts off with what's called the Purple Tour Five Live. So these these are the five songs that are on the uh, Deep Purple. I'm sorry, the White Snake Deep Purple Live album. So originally White Snake put out the Purple album, and then they put out the Purple album live. Is what I mean to say. So these are the only five songs that are um, Deep Purple songs on that live album. The rest they did not put on here. Uh, so you get. Burn, The Gypsy, Mistreated, You Fool No One, and Soldier of Fortune. These are fabulous. And I like them better than uh, the original um, from, I don't know if they were remixed or anything, but they sound improved, at least to my ears, from the um, the previous um, live album. Anyway, in addition, uh, you get some alternative mixes. So there's just five live songs, and then you get the alternative mixes. You get Holy Man, and that's called the Unzipped Mix. You get Stormbringer, the Punch in the Nuts Mix. <laughs> Love Child, the Alternate Mix. Then you get three versions of Soldier of Fortune. Uh, one is called, well, in parentheses, the first one's called Featuring John Joel Hoekstra and the Hook City Strings. The next version, track 10, is called Soldier of Fortune Featuring the Hook City Strings. So no Joel Hoekstra on that one. And then you get an instrumental version of Soldier of Fortune Featuring the Hook City Strings. Now, next, tracks 12 through 15 on disc 2, still a CD, you get what's called the 1972 David Coverdale Purple Audition Tapes featuring the Fabuloso Brothers. I have no idea who those are. Um, the songs are Everybody's Talking, Get Ready, Lonely Town, Lonely Street, that's one song, and then Dancing in the Street. Now, what what these tracks are, are the songs that David Coverdale sang to audition for Deep Purple. And they are the songs that got him and landed him the job. Uh, what comes next... Track 16 is the 1974 David Coverdale demo ideas for the Stormbringer album. Uh, This is not as good as the audition tapes, but I I do find this interesting, and it's worth a listen. Um, I'm going to go back to those audition tapes. I I like them quite a bit. Now, sidebar here, I wish Uriah Heep would release David Coverdale's audition tapes for them because at one point he auditioned for Uriah Heep and he didn't get the job. I think that would be kind of cool if somewhere down the line, sooner than later, Uriah Heep put out some sort of compilation and, you know, just just for fun and, and, and let us hear what David Coverdale sang for that gig, right? Of course he didn't get it. Um, anyway, now let's talk about the Blu-ray. And I have not, I have not listened, I'm sorry, I have not watched or listened to the Blu-ray yet. So this review is for the most, is definitely for just the the audio quality here. Um, But on the Blu-ray, you get Purple Music Videos, Lady Double Dealer, Stormbringer, Sail Away, Soldier of Fortune, The Gypsy. Then you get Soldier of Fortune featuring Joel Hawkstra and the Hook City Strings. Then Soldier of Fortune featuring the Hook City Strings without Joel Hawkstra. Then you get Purple Snake Videos, Lay Down, Stay Down, Holy Man, excuse me, You Keep On Moving, and You Fool No One. Then you get live clips, Burn, the Live Atlantis video, Burn slash Stormbringer, live in the, that's from Live in the Still of the Night. Then you get Soldier of Fortune from Starkers in Tokyo. Then you get the Purple Tour 5 Live, Burn, the Gypsy, Mistreated, You Fool No One, and Soldier of Fortune. So these are the video 
compare uh, the video videos, excuse me, of what's on the audio for the Purple Five Live songs. Um, then you get track 20, the Purple album behind the scenes, and 21, the Purple album song by song. Uh, I hope to look at this uh, this weekend. So those are the track listings for disc one, disc two, and the Blu-ray. Now, here is my rating. I am giving this a very good. I'm not giving it a great. I'm not giving it a masterpiece, but I'm giving it a very good. And overall, compared to the original mix, I'm liking I'm liking this remix better than the original mix. In the same vein that I like the the Black Sabbath remix of Live Evil better than the original mix. Um, so Sabbath, I'm sorry, Sabbath. Sorry, White Snake and Purple fans alike, you want to get this? It's that good. Now. Here's one caveat. I'm going to be doing soon, well, hopefully sooner than later, a Ranking the Albums episode of Whitesnake. Where on earth do I fit this? Because this is Whitesnake doing Deep Purple songs. And so it is Whitesnake. It's not the classic lineup. It's not the 87 Whitesnake lineup. Doesn't matter. It's still Whitesnake. But where do I fit it? So that's my conundrum. Um, I like it a lot, so do I put it in the middle? Do I put it at the bottom? So this is a a perplexing dilemma, conundrum, a fun one, sort of. But So maybe you could put in the comments, if you've heard this, does it even belong? That's the real question. Is it, does this even belong in the White Snake ranking the albums? Because it's White Snake doing Deep Purple. Just a thought. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Take care now. Bye-bye.